I know you haven't seen me in quite some time. We, uh, well, I had a few biking accidents here in the last couple months, which knocked me out for about six weeks of bike riding. Um, first one was my shin, where I took a nasty spill, but that's since healed. However, about three weeks back, I was out and I took a big spill. I hit a root and flew over my bike and proceeded to fly over my handlebars. And I ended up, as you can see with this glove, actually hitting my hand, my left hand on a rock when I landed and it proceeded to mess up my hand quite a bit. So my hand swelled up nicely and I'm finally getting out now to do a ride. So uh, today I just want to talk a few things to you about protection and making sure that you're ready to go out there. Uh, as you'll see is I have a number of things that I do wear uh, to keep myself safe, but sometimes that isn't even enough. So let's take a look here and see what I've got and see some of the things that you probably should have uh, at least at the bare minimum. So let's first start off with your head, which obviously is probably the most important thing you want to protect, especially these days. We all hear about a lot of the concussions that football players sustain. Now we hear that other athletes, whether gymnastics or softball or you name it, there's a lot of injuries out there. So you don't want to skimp on your helmet. Um, some of the new technology right now, you'll see this label here, it says MIPS. Basically, it's got an inner protection that actually kind of moves around and spreads out the shock when you do crash and hit either the ground or some other obstacle. So don't skimp on a good helmet. I highly encourage whether it's bike riding, mountain biking, or your kids out there riding around in the subdivision on their scooters and stuff. I definitely think that they should be wearing a helmet at least um, next from there probably the next thing that people do buy especially when you're mountain biking because your hands do sweat are a good pair of gloves um, that won't slide on the handlebars these are mine which as you can see this is the one that i just recently damaged because a rock impaled the glove so this glove is pretty much toast now um so having a backup pair of gloves is is nice to have um, there's only so much that they're going to actually help you with, but by and large, the big thing is, is the stability of holding on your handlebar and your grips when you're sweating and they do pro provide you with some protection during colder weather. Uh, other thing, obviously shoes. Some people buy specific mountain bike shoes or, um, pedals like shoes that can actually attach to the pedals. These are actually my hiking, biking shoes. I do a little bit of hiking going up hills. I'm not exactly a super small guy who's light on the foot, so I do occasionally have to hike up the hill. So I like shoes that are, you know, all-terrain type to, uh, shoes. Next from there, the uh, next thing that I, I bought was some knee pads. These are from 7IDP out of Germany. I like these because you can wash them and actually inside the actual, here I'll show you, you can actually take out the actual protection out of these knee pads. I like these knee pads because they're not overly cumbersome, um, but they still provide you with a nice level of protection. If you hit something, crash into something, this actually firms up inside the actual knee pads um, a few months back after i had my major crash where um, i had a hematoma on my left leg which is basically a large lump where swelling and blood pooled i've now got me shin guards which actually sit lower than my knee pads they do make knee pads that actually incorporate shin protection and the knee protection but i don't have those um, and then you'll see here let me show you on most new mountain bikes these days they have really nice pedals 
but the downside is as you see these metal spikes these screws that are exposed those help keep your feet on the actual pedal however if you crash what happens is these a lot of times these pedals will spike you right in the shin and it'll leave you a nasty nasty injury so um shin shin guards are probably a, a nice thing to have so that's just some of the things that I actually have. Um, there are more things that you can put on like elbow guards. Uh, some people actually wear chest protection for BMX riders and even some competitive mountain bike riders. I'm not at that level obviously, but I just wanted to kind of show you some of the things that if you're going to get into this sport that you probably want to start off with. They do vary in cost. Um, so you can check out with your local bike shop if you need to go in and try out a helmet to make sure you get the right size. But make sure you're protected out there on the trail. Um, I'm actually back to where I had my last crash today. So I'm out at Indian Camp Creek and I'm planning on getting a good ride. So come ride with me today. I hope to have a crash-free ride and I'll see you out there on the trail.